I recently finished this workbench and originally I wasn't planning on putting any finish on it but after using it for just a few weeks I already found that it was getting kind of dirty on the top and you don't want that dirt to get on other projects that you're working on so I decided I'm just going to put a couple thin coats of shellac on it after I resurface the top. I'm going to wipe down all the surfaces of the paper towel that just has a little uh, denatured alcohol in it. This will help take off all the dust, or at least most of the dust. It doesn't have to be completely dust free for this because it's not like this is a piece of fine furniture or anything, it's just a workbench. For shellac I usually like to use the Zinzer Bullseye Seal Coat. Uh, it's really easy to use, it's pre-mixed, you don't have to add flakes to denature alcohol or anything and let it sit around. It's, you just buy it and it's ready to use. I usually dilute it half and half with denatured alcohol. It makes it thinner and a little bit easier to apply and it dries a lot faster that way too. I've gotten the best results from shellac when you just put it on quickly and keep going rather than trying to go back and brush and correct it because then you just end up with more brush marks or drips and runs and stuff so that's what they generally recommend is you just brush it on once keep going any mistakes you can sand a little bit and correct on the next coat you can already see what a difference it's making it really brings out the grain and gives it a little pop I generally like to wear some gloves when I'm working with shellac because it does, uh, if it dries on your hand, it is a little bit tricky to get off. You just have to use some denatured alcohol, but it saves time if you uh, use the gloves. And I've also found like if you're putting it on with a pad or something, it uh, I feel like the denatured alcohol gets absorbed through your skin, and I actually get a little bit, you know, not not drunk feeling, but it makes me feel a little bit funny. It's different than uh, actually drinking alcohol, probably because the denatured alcohol has uh, methanol in it, which is bad for you. So generally it's a good idea to avoid inhaling or getting it on your skin as much as possible. It's not the end of the world, it's not as bad as some finishes. It's one of the more tame finishes, but better to just keep it off your skin if you can. Now I'm applying the second coat. One of the nice things about shellac is it dries so fast when you have it thinned that uh, by the time you're done coating your piece usually you can just go back and start over again. from Start from the spot that you started the first time. Usually that spot will be dry and then you can just keep going. Or if you do wait, you can just wait like 15 minutes or half an hour and you can come back and put on that second coat. It's not like an oil finish where sometimes you might have to wait a whole day or depending on the humidity you might even have to wait a couple days. I ended up putting two coats on the whole bench and an extra coat on the top because I figured that was going to get the most use and so it needed to hold up to the most abuse. So overall working with shellac is pretty easy to do. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, take care. Hope to see you next time.